Disclaimer. The views and opinions expressed in this episode are those of the GOAT, or the greatest of all Titos, and do not necessarily reflect the views or positions of all Titos or uncles around the world. Possibly a few, but definitely not all. Medyo... Medyo seryoso na tayo today. Let's talk about life. Hey, kamusta at Tito E-Boy, also known as The Goat. Social media has, you know, opened our eyes to many things. Um, it has raised more awareness the past 10 years than the panahon before social media. And for a lot of us who don't see it, you discover it. Like, you know, something as simple as, not simple, but something like Alzheimer's or dementia or um, ALS. You mga ganyan yun. Because the more you see it on social media, the more you become aware of it, the more you become conscious of it. And now that I'm 45, one thing that scares the shit out of me is... What kind of feeling of tao who has a certain disease, a certain condition? What kind of feeling nila when they had it the first time? Parang medyo na ano kasi ako with yung what happened to Bruce Willis when he recently, the family recently announced that he has some form of dementia. And it's shocking to me kasi si Bu- I grew up with Bruce Willis. When, he, when naabuta ko siya nung bata pa siya. Hindi naman sa mas matanda ako sa kanya. But I mean, when he was still a young actor from his... Uh, series na Moonlighting tapos the Die Hard series um, and you know a, a slew of other movies that he came out in and then suddenly the family announces in kanyang condition and makes you wonder no, how ano kaya feeling ng tao yung when you know na-realize nila yun that's it and it's something na hindi pa ganun kakiyorable you just learn to live with it and you know it kind of bothers you it kind of haunts you or, or something something siguro easier to think about kasi nung bata tayo kunyari like ngipin nabunutan tayo yung ngipin or nahulog yung ngipin natin or what, what not it is scary kasi nga nahul- natanggal siya. But you know that like in a few weeks, few few days, few weeks, it'll grow back. But ano kayo feeling ng tao who lost his tooth for the last time? Diba? Then you have the, the, the scarier conditions like yun nga, dementia, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's. Or Rayuma, arthritis. The first time you you receive it, or you you felt it, and you know that, parang wala nang atrasan. I'm not gonna bother. So, parang the best the best course is to take care of yourself make smarter choices of what you put in your body um, it's not naman as if you're gonna take the joy out of it Mug naman, di naman yun, but so think about it what is nakabother lang to be completely honest 
and it kind of heightens the anxiety level for someone like me because I'm obese. That's why we're trying our best to, again, make healthier choices, make better choices, uh, start moving more, walking more, exercising more, thinking of ways of beating the system, making yourself healthier, making yourself prolonging your life and letting your family and friends enjoy you more. And what also helps is talking about it. Talk to your friends. Talk to your best friends. Tell them you nice like like what I'm doing now with you guys. And it does take a, a load off. Kayuba, what is what is bothering you? What is one thing that you that, something that you feel inevitable that is always on your mind? Hit me up in the comments below. Take care of yourselves. See you tomorrow.